Hi, this is Kate. In this video, we will cover the foramen of the skull that transmit the cranial nerves. If you want to read more about cranial nerves, we have an article on the Geeky Medics website. Make sure to subscribe to be the first to know when we release new videos. In this tutorial, there are some bones that you will need to be able to locate. These are the ethmoid bone, the sphenoid bone, the temporal bones on the right and on the left, and posteriorly, the occipital. First, let us look at the ethmoid bone, which transmits the first cranial nerve called the olfactory nerve. Here we can see the cribriform plate. Cribriform means numerous small holes. The olfactory bulb divides into many small branches, which pass through these small openings in the cribriform plate and enter into the nasal cavity. Next, we are going to examine some of the foramina of the sphenoid bone. Here we can see the sphenoid highlighted in green. Here we have the optic canal, which transmits the optic nerve. Next, we have the superior orbital fissure, which transmits the oculomotor, the trochlear, the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal, and the abducens nerve. As we move posteriorly, we can see the foramen rotundum, which transmits the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve and the foramen ovale, which transmits the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. Next, we're going to look at the temporal bone, and we're going to locate the internal acoustic meatus. This transmits both the facial and the vestibular cochlear nerves. The vestibular cochlear nerve is associated with structures of the inner ear, but the facial nerve must be transmitted through the base of the skull to enter the face, and it does this via the stylomastoid foramen. So I've rotated the skull around and we're looking at the inferior aspect. Here we have the temporal bone in green. This is the mastoid process and this is the styloid process. And between these two structures we have the stylomastoid foramen and that is where the facial nerve emerges and enters the face. So the internal acoustic meatus transmits the facial and the vestibular cochlear nerve but it's only the facial nerve that is transmitted via the stylomastoid foramen. We're now going to move on to the jugular foramen. The jugular foramen sits between the temporal bone and the occipital bone posteriorly. It transmits the glossopharyngeal, the vagus and the accessory nerves. Finally, the twelfth cranial nerve, which is called the hypoglossal nerve, is transmitted via the hypoglossal canal located within the occipital bone. Okay, so now let's recap. If we go back to the cribriform plate of the ethmoid, this is where the first cranial nerve is transmitted, the olfactory nerve. Within the sphenoid, we have the optic canal, which transmits the optic nerve, the superior orbital fissure, which transmits the ocular motor, the trochlear, the first branch of the trigeminal, the ophthalmic nerve, and the abducens nerve. Posteriorly, we have the foramen rotundum, which transmits the maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve, and the foramen ovale, which transmits the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. Within the temporal bone, we have the internal acoustic meatus, which transmits the facial and the vestibular cochlear nerves, Next, we have the jugular foramen, which sits between the temporal bone and the occipital bone posteriorly, and it transmits the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, and the accessory nerves. Finally, within the occipital bone, we have the hypoglossal nerve, which is transmitted via the hypoglossal canal. So that's the end of this tutorial. We'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought of this video and what topics you'd like us to cover in the future. You can do this by leaving a comment or dropping us an email.